<laughs> Done yourself proud. This mm. has been one of the best pizzas I've had in a long time. Yeah. Seriously. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Graham from Great Off Road Adventures. Welcome back to another trip video. We are camped up here this morning at Little Bay, uh, just outside of Horrocks. Got the beautiful ocean behind us and a stunning, stunning campsite. Camped here last night. Our trip actually started yesterday. We started from Geraldton and we came all the way up the coast from Geraldton to Horrocks on the beach and on the sort of uh, sand dune track towed the trailer through it. Uh, by and large, had no uh, issues. A few little um, little temporary movement issues, but nothing nothing major. Uh, so yeah, really fun trip. We had the guys from Off-Road TV tag along with us, uh, mainly to render any assistance that uh, may have been needed, but it did make for a really fun trip. What we've done though, is we've actually filmed that section of, of our trip and we've put it on the Off-Road TV channel as a video for them to host. So if you want to see what that trip was like or that section of the trip from Geraldton up to Horrocks, you'll find a link in the description to the Off-Road TV YouTube channel and you'll be able to watch that episode there. Uh, anyway, our plan now, we are gonna finish off our brekkie here at Little Bay. We're just monitoring our weather system that's coming in uh, today. We might head to Murchison House Station for the next few days where we can hopefully get out of the worst of the weather uh, and then come back at the end of the week when the weather's better and come to Lucky Bay. Um, but yeah, the plan's to visit those two destinations pending the weather. Anyway, let's get on with it and um, get this trip underway. From the tough tracks to the remote tracks, from our campsites to the workshops. Come along and check out Great Off-Road Adventures. Your next episode is just seconds away. with camp packed up, we noticed an immediate change in the weather. Notice the wind coming in from the northwest, a lot more clouds in the sky. Unfortunately, we did have to say goodbye to Darren today as he had commitments that meant he had to head home, but Jake was continuing on with us for a few more days. Now, when we got into Horrocks and we got a proper weather report, it was not good news. Typical system coming in from the northwest brings a rather vicious ocean, a lot of wind and a lot of rain, and it's not particularly pleasant to be along the coast at times like this. So we had to come up with a plan B. With a severe weather warning and strong wind warning having been issued for the entire length of the coast from Exmouth down to the Capes in the southwest, we were starting to question our decision to be out camping at the moment. Fortunately though, it was only anticipated to be for a 24 hour period and we have a new camper trailer in tow that we haven't really tested in these conditions before. So we decided we'd tough it out, head inland where the conditions would be a, bit, be a little bit more favourable where we could uh, get a bit more protection from the wind, where there'd be an ample source of firewood, where we could hide out for the next few days and wait for the weather to get good.
Oh, everyone, camp is set up as you can see. We're not at Lucky Bay and we're not at Murchison House. So we had a good look at the weather and um, I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, I might try and get in my windbreak. We had a good look at the weather um, and it's looking at along the coast at 50 to 60 km an hour winds gusting up towards 100 km an hour um, and a fair chunk of rain as well. So. We had a bit of a look at what was around and as we moved inland the wind dropped a bit, almost halved the wind forecast for where we are here so we've come out to cool Kalea station which is the old Murchison uh, off-road adventure station so found camp spot down by the river here and we will pretty much hide ourselves here for this afternoon and tomorrow just getting dust in my face and uh yeah we'll just try and ride out the storm and then We'll leave here and head back over to Murchison House once the weather gets better and explore Murchison House Station later in the week. Anyway, a bit of sand in the eyes. I know, uh, put you down, just make sure we're all secure here and then I think we're gonna jump in the cars, go for a bit of a drive, hopefully collect a little bit of firewood and uh, yeah, should be the afternoon done and dusted for us. Having been stuck in the cars with bad weather for most of the afternoon, just exploring on the old station tracks, we came across an old play area from the old adventure park. Not, uh, not being one to shy away from too much of a challenge, we picked out a little basic route for a bit of fun through the area. We could test the cars and stretch our legs.
I'm in the process of doing a few modifications of the car. One of them is getting rid of the steel side steps, going for aluminium. So I'm not going to destroy them. Well, guys, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the rain has set in. Wind has obliged us and dropped off a little bit from before. So very little rain, a uh, very little wind, sorry, but just a drizzly rain. So awnings out, configured it to drain as well as we can. Fire's going, probably gonna lose me here in the dark. But uh, yeah, here's what it is. How you going? They're good. Fire's dry, cozy, fire's going. So yeah, we're probably gonna batten down the hatches for a bit of a wintry, boring night tonight. But um, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, unfortunately. Um, when we plan and take leave, that sort of thing to go away, it's all in and you've got to either commit to going away or commit to sitting at home. So we thought about it and we went, we'll adapt and we will make a plan and we'll go away anyway, so. Good chance for us to test the campfire in the wet, sort of wintry conditions. Um, and worst case, it all really goes badly, we're half a day from home. Fingers crossed, it doesn't get to that. We're set up to overcome the wet conditions and we're having a fairly good time as it stands right now. So no reason why we won't stay out here for a few more days and keep having fun. Anyway, if it clears up, I'll show you it. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, we uh, can hit the tracks a bit more tomorrow, explore a little bit more around the area. I've got some cooking to do, so we want to collect a decent bit of firewood um, and have a bit of a cook up tomorrow night. So it should be a fun day tomorrow. Hopefully, we don't get uh, beaten around too much tonight with the weather. Anyway, see you in the morning. We woke to a beautiful, peaceful morning at our camp and it's not hard to see how this place got its name. Reflections Pool. Yeah, I can see why. We didn't really take much notice of how much rain fell overnight, so we woke to quite the quagmire in the morning. We also noticed when we looked at it, the river had risen about five to seven centimeters from when we arrived the day before. So this was something we're gonna to have to keep a close eye on. Sadly, that brief patch of blue sky was rather quickly replaced with some ominous gray clouds. I think this is gonna be the story of our day today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our camp here on the edge of the Murchison River. We got rained on from about 2.30 in the morning to seven o'clock this morning. We had a little patch of blue sky, um, enough to sort of get us motivated and looking forward to the day. And then we just got rained on again. So anyway, it's gonna come through in waves today. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. But uh, camper trailer life definitely is more comfortable than rooftop tenting or swagging. That's for absolutely certain, when it, especially when it's raining. So we've got ample protection and coverage. Uh, we can get from our bed to where we can get changed to where we can cook food all whilst, you know, dry and not in too much mud. Do we have a bit of water flowing through from down the hill through camp? Is what it is. So the plan now, we just had a bit of breakfast, is to go for a bit of an explore this morning. We'll come back here for a late lunch. Hopefully the weather has gotten a bit better. Um, we've got a three hour cook of some pulled pork to do this afternoon. Um, and we're gonna film, film that, but we're also gonna film um, a few other bits and pieces for you whilst we're out here. So yeah, be a busy day. We've got a couple hours this morning up our sleeves, go and explore a little bit. So that's what we'll do. Yep, that's what you call a stuff up. 
Uh, so what happened here is we were following along the track that runs parallel to the river. It's an old, no longer maintained station track. Came across a washout that we couldn't get across. So in an effort to try and find another way around, we found ourselves, or well, I found myself uh, trying to get across this water course here and got myself horribly stuck. Fortunately, Jake was able to come down behind me and hook up with the winch. Um, although inevitably that ended up pulling him towards me. So a combination of the winch and the max tracks again was the recipe to getting me out of here. At that point we then had to uh, turn around, retrace our footsteps for a bit and um, then continue our exploring in another direction. It was in this process that we realised just how much rain had fallen over night time and this morning. We realised that we needed to stay on the rocky ground. Anything clay was just going to prove to be a nightmare for us. You know that on average right now, two thirds of you are not subscribed to Great Off Road Adventures. So go ahead, it's free, do us a favour and subscribe to the channel. With our misadventure hat and our lesson learnt, it was time for us to return to camp and relax a little bit this afternoon. Start collecting some firewood, getting ourselves ready for a three hour slow cooked pulled pork. Well, we're back at camp. Uh, we got some lunch on the go. Got a fire prepared. Um, we're gonna get it cranking earlier so we can cook on it. Like I said, we've got a long three hour cook to do. We've been watching this little sort of sandbar across the far side and making sure that the water level is not getting over those islands or those little bits of sand if it does um, we'll be a little bit more concerned because obviously the river level was rising due to the rain and not too worried about where we camped more so worried about the river crossing we have to do to get in and out of here um, yeah it was a catch 22 if we camped on the south side of the river we'd be far more exposed to the wind and the rain. Uh, if we camped on the north side here, we're more protected, but we do have to cross a uh, ford, a river crossing. So, yeah, we will uh, we'll play that one by ear, obviously. But we're monitoring it, and that's what matters. We're at least aware that we, we have to um, get back across there. So um, if a river level starts rising uh, rapidly and covering our islands, we'll be packing up and getting out of here. But um, We've been here for 24 hours and the river level has increased, but maybe by only about two inches. Um, so not too worried. And in our exploring, we've been over the river crossing a few times today and that hasn't really changed at all. So yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not at all concerned, but I'm aware of it. The rain continued to hamper us, blowing through in short squalls, but in general the wind had dropped and the weather forecast for the next few days was looking good. So our spirits were high and the prospects of moving on were looking good.
that's the end of this episode. Don't forget to come back next week, check out next episode as we can finally get this trip back onto plan. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Stay safe on the tracks and trails. If we don't see you out there one time, we'll see you in the next video. See ya.